This will be a tutorial on installing Vintage Story on a Linux machine. I'll be using a mostly new Ubuntu 22.04 virtual machine, but the process will be similar across distributions. Before we start, make sure you know how to open a terminal, what package manager your distribution uses, and how to use your package manager's search, list, and install commands. Some package managers will be similar to mine, others will be completely different, so make sure to adapt the commands I'm using to your system. The first thing I'll need is the .NET 7 runtime. This contains all the system libraries the game runs on. Microsoft offers a few options to download this, but most mainstream distributions offer it in their official package repositories. First, run a search in your package manager for the word .NET, a period, an asterisk, and the word runtime, all without spaces. You can either use a search command or a list command piped into grep to filter the results. I prefer the latter, since the output is cleaner. As of 1.19, you should be looking for version 7 of the runtime. Once you've found the package name in the list, copy it and paste it into an install command. As a reminder, you'll likely need to adapt these commands to your package manager if you use something other than Debian or Ubuntu. Now that I have .NET installed, I need to make sure I have OpenAL, Vintage Stories Sound Library. This may not be needed in versions since 1.18, but is included for the sake of example. The process is similar to installing .NET, and here I highly recommend using the list command piped into grep, as a normal search returns a lot of extraneous results. Once you've found the package, which should be either OpenAL, libOpenAL, or libOpenAL dev, copy the package name and install it. With OpenAL, all that's left is OpenGL, or specifically, the graphics drivers to support it. This step is a bit special, as it depends on both your hardware and distribution, so you'll need to search on your own for how to install graphics drivers if they aren't already. NVIDIA cards can make use of the NVIDIA driver packages, while Intel and AMD cards need the Mesa driver packages. Finally, I should be ready to launch the game. What you'll have downloaded from the client area is a tarball, or a compressed tar archive, and you'll need to extract it to play or install the game. Depending on your desktop environment, you should be able to right-click the archive to extract it, or double-click it to open an archive viewer with an extract button. If neither of those work, you can use the terminal. Click in the empty space around the archive to open a terminal in the same directory, or use the cd command to change directory to the folder containing the archive. Then run tar space hyphen xvf space dot forward slash and the name of the archive. The file names are case sensitive, but you can press tab while typing them to autocomplete. Once it finishes extracting, you can open the Vintage Story folder and double click either run.sh or Vintage Story to start the game. If that doesn't work, open a terminal in the Vintage Story folder, either by right clicking in the empty space or using the cd command, and run one of those files from the command line, again including the dot and forward slash before the file name. Once you've verified the game runs, you can take the extra steps in the wiki to fully install it, or continue to run the game from the directory you extracted.